Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise I desire that you all pray for me that God's most perfect will be done in my life, that I walk up right before the Lord and do those things that please him. Pray much for um, my children. Pray much for all of the children. Um, sometimes we just look at them, their innocence, um, the ones that I service, their innocence pre-K through fifth grade, and you want their innocence to remain. Um, pray that the Lord just put a hedge of protection, a wall of his Holy Ghost fire, and ministering angels around not only my family, but our family, yeah. our church family. Um, God is doing some mighty things in our lives. So let us just pray for each other that we move the wagon forward the way God is calling us to do. Pray for me and my house in Jesus' name. Amen.
and get in the right seat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. children. crisis or just a just any kind of situation where uh, they can render aid. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. You do the job. I hear what she's saying, y'all won't make another repeat. <laughs> Amen. And 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 with that, with that, uh, when she said to build one another up and you family was also the means of protection, <coughs> also the means of protecting the group, because, you know, we've got a lot of predators out there, a lot of, a lot of, uh, I mean, a lot of people that comes up against one another, mm -hmm. and then the family was the, the, the key component to survive, mm -hmm. especially in, in the Old Testament days. Uh, they were defenders of, of the family name. They were defenders of, of, of the family member. Remember, uh, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a good thing, uh, but uh, when uh, it was Reuben, the two oldest of the, uh, the Israelite uh, family, Jacob, uh, Isaac, Peter, and uh, Jacob, Jacob, when uh, 
the calf at night and kill them all? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, they, were, they were trying to defend their, their sister's honor. Yes. Uh, Dying. But they did it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. uh, they did it the wrong way. But they were they were acting as family. Right. Amen. God promotes family. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. He promotes family. That's why in the scripture, God is, 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 is called a father. Yes. Uh, because he, he's the father of all. decides to say that I put my pants on just like you, she's stepping outside mm -hmm. of the hierarchy. Mm -hmm. We have to stay within our lane, if mm -hmm. you want to say it that way, yeah. in order the family, in order for the family to operate. For, to operate functionally. Functionally. Yes. Thank you. So there's order, structure mm -hmm. to a family. Mm -hmm. Amen.
Let's start with verse 22. <laughs> then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, uh, You men of Athens, men of Athens, I perceive that in all things ye are too superstitious. That word superstitious there means religious. He said, You guys are religious. <laughs> I read. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription uh -huh. to the unknown God, yeah. whom therefore ye ignorantly worship, him declare I unto you. As long as you preach Christ unto them from their own poetry, using not, not the Bible, but using their own uh, literacy, liter literary information. You know, right. that's, that's like some people who just preach Christ from Start talking about you. <laughs> I mean, God that made the world and all things therein, uh -huh. seeing that he is the Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. All right. God created everything. Everything to be inhabited. Everything God has provided. Everything you need that pertains unto life and godliness. Amen. Amen. Everything. Read it. Neither is worship with men's hands, uh -huh. as though he needed anything, yes. seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things. Uh -huh. So he's inclusive, gives life and breath to everything. All right, read. And hath made of one blood uh -huh. all nations of men. Now look, <laughs> God took one blood, the blood of Adam and Eve, and he made what? All nations. All nations. People are related by blood. Am I right? Amen. Thank you, Lord. And everybody uh, who has uh, come into this world has come into this world through Adam and Eve. Amen. 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 That's when you can your, trace your truth, your genesis. Amen. He took a one blood and he did what? He made what? All Now there's all different types. Amen. All different nations. Mm -hmm. uh, but we all come from the same mother and father. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right, read. And hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth, mm -hmm. and hath determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. That is simply means that God he created this earth. To be inhabited by people, which we have, and he determined the vow, meaning he determined the generations in which we ought to live. Amen. Thank you. Lord. Some of us couldn't live way back then. And we can live right now. Amen. Yes. Huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes. No. God. 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 Amen. He determined. Mm -hmm. huh? and then, uh, uh, the reason why you live in Erie right now is because God determined that. Yes. Uh, he put that in your heart. He put that in your mind. Amen. <laughs> now some, some family members move away. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. And it is God uh, that, wants, that wants families to move away. And why is that? Why do people move? Why does God put it in the hearts of people? Because of His will to be done in their life. So His will can be done for what I'm thinking of a, a family. <laughs> to multiply, mm -hmm. to increase, to inhabit the land. Amen. Y'all ready? This is the next step. Yeah. Uh, God. God wants us to grow up huh? and move out. Mm. <laughs> Amen. You got your uh, 35 year old child still saying, What's she going to say? That's right. It's a whole crowd. It's a whole crowd. It's a whole crowd. It's a whole crowd. It's a whole 
because he he understands that that in order, like my sister Margaret said, when I asked the question about what's the purpose of family, she said to glorify God. Right? So so Paul was rejoicing in the fact that now God has allowed the Gentile to come into the body of Christ so that they can glorify him. Yeah. Yes. Magnify him. Yes. Uh, to worship him. Amen? To, 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 to extend family. Right. Amen? To inhabit the earth. Yeah. 
Put the ring back on. Put the ring on. Put that robe on. That's right. Uh, let everybody know this is my son. I have received him back. Uh, yes, and he's in position. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, hallelujah. 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 So he says, I rejoice in that. I bow my knee, pray, thank you, God. 
of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. I agree. That he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. Now, now Paul, this is Paul's attitude toward us as family. That God would grant us that we would be strengthened uh, with all might uh, in our inner man.
that he gave them, he sent Jonah to give them the correction that they were supposed to have. Yeah. For being wayward, so that they can have that chance to say, we repent. Right. We brought it to their attention about what he, what they were doing wrong. Right. And that's what he used Jonah for. Jonah didn't want them to know what they were doing wrong and stay in that darkness. God didn't want them to stay in that darkness. No. But it was up to the children yeah. that the Ninevites to turn their hearts from their wicked ways and repent and seek after God. And that's what they did to correct their wrong. Amen. God, God saw them. They repented. God forgave them. Amen. 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 Uh, release them from the death. Somebody told me today people go on fishing, but they don't need to go fishing now. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. If God wanted to see a forgetfulness, right, oh, right. Man. Take it to the grave. I'm not gonna forgive you. Even if God forgives you, I ain't gonna forgive you. I don't like what you did. I... Help us now. Think about it. 
it too, because if God judges the intent of the person's heart, right. God knows the ins and outs of the situation, why it happened, what happened, yes. what caused it to happen, what led to it. Yes. All you know basically is what you heard somebody else say. Oh. You took that to be the gospel truth and ran with it. You wasn't there, you don't know what went down, but you heard that and you went with it. God actually knows what happened. He sees it up. And God wants family to stick together. Yeah.
because in the in situation, it's like Abraham, he had to, he was supposed to leave all his kindred, but he yeah. brought along Lot. He took Lot. And Lot wasn't part of God's plan for Abraham. Abraham brought him along because he wanted to bring him along because he felt that was his nephew and, you know, he, that he wanted to love on him, but that wasn't part of God's plan. So can't you see it in some instances God will separate family because of motives? Yeah. Because of his purpose. Well, um, I, I contradict a little bit what you said. Mm. And, and for this particular reason, what do we, how do we define family? What is the job of family? To help each other. To, to strengthen, and this word here, protect. Mm -hmm. What was Lot to Abraham? His family, but what was his position? Nephew. Where was uh, Lot's dad? Dead. His brother. Dead. So Abraham had responsibility for Lot. In his eyes, the night of God told him to leave his kindred. He did. He was supposed to bring Lot, but he did. And then they had to go their separate ways. Well, because, because God blessed them both, and they separated. They separated. And then when Lot got into trouble, who went to rescue him? Abraham. Abraham. Family. But didn't God tell Abraham to take him and his household? Which included, that's what I'm trying to say. Which included Lot, because Lot. Fell under Abraham's protection yes. because the brother was dead. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So he had to go. Yes, that's why he went. Right. That's why he went. And Abraham took Lot and Sarah and the servants. And, right. And all of that. Because Lot was a part of the family. Right. Uh, yeah. uh, under Abraham's protection. Mm -hmm. And he protected. The reason how we know that. Is because Abraham uh, protected Lot. Mm -hmm. Right. Why so? Even when they noticed what he said, uh, when when they, when Lot was being blessed, and Abraham was being blessed, mm -hmm. and he said, he said, we're brothers. Why should we fight? Right. Yeah. Right. You going your way? I go my way. And they said.
that just made me think when we were preparing for our family reunion, you know, you got people that, you know, in the family that's going to comply, and then you got some that's going to be non-compliant. And if you think about, you know, when you see some of them coming, you be like, oh, God, here they come. You know? Right. It's, but but they family. Right. And, you know, my oldest brother is a peacemaker, no matter what, no matter what's going on. He always is a peacemaker. If they, if they do what's required of them as family members getting ready for this reunion, amen. If they don't do what's required of them, amen. Because we family, we're going to feed them, we're going to do, we gonna do everything that we need to do anyway. We ain't going to cause no ruckus because we family. We talked earlier about Esau and Jacob, right? Mm -hmm. right? When it was time for Jacob to go back, was he scared? Mm -hmm. yeah. You bet your boots. <laughs> Why was he scared? He's he 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 probably Esau said you what? Lord have mercy. Oh, my. <laughs> so, 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 mama heard it. Oh, Lord. Right? Mama heard it. Uh -huh. and, and mama didn't want to lose two sons. Yes. So she told mama, go to your, uh, your, your mama later. Right? Because if, if Esau would have killed her, I mean, this, this is a shame, right? <laughs> if Esau would have killed Jacob, then the family would have had to kill Esau. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The family test. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was according to their laws. Yeah. You know they were stubborn, but then he was stubborn too. Kill the house. Oh, we did that today. We need to kill. There wouldn't be many kids. Huh? <laughs> 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 Um, you know, we had had some new immigrants come to the country, and they were from Africa, and they were, the, the children were misbehaving, and we had to call the parents in, right? So the parents said, you know, he, he, he basically said, take them outside and um, put them on, put them on their knees on some rocks, on some hard rocks. Oh. We and the principal looked at each other, and we said, sir, we can't do that. We can't do that, sir. No, sir. And so, you know, we had to let them know the laws in the United States of America prohibit us from doing that. Absolutely. So when they went back, go ahead. My kids used to go to a Christian school when we lived at Columbus. And um, my, one of my sons was acting up in class, and I had to come to the school and get them. And at the time, my pastor, Pastor Parsley, he closed the door. He said, in this, in this sanctuary, in this school, I believe in discipline. Mm -hmm. And he closed the door and said, here's the belt. Do what you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> because it's off of Christian, <laughs> off of being Christian. He said, I, and he tell you that. That's in his clothes. He don't need any money from the state, none of that. You know, and he has teachers that, you know, they all on the court. It was like a big family. You know what I mean? You don't come to school, you don't cuss your teacher out, you don't disrespect, you don't do that. And he was real strict on stuff like that. So if a parent needed to come in and handle their business with their child, they did. <laughs> and he go, and if you need your belt, he get it. <laughs> Because Jacob, as a representative of the one life, 
Yes. Uh, in Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. Concerning you. Come on. Amen. Amen. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Yes. Forgive. Yes. Uh, let it let it go. Thank you. Amen. 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 Trust God. Be, uh, behold how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to do what? Well, well together in unity. What is unity? One accord. Yes. One accord together in that. Yes. Do we all have to agree to have unity? No. no. We got different minds. Yeah. We don't have to agree to have unity. Just agree to be unified. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's all. Agree to not separate. Agree not to divide. Amen. 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 Agree not to hold grudges. Right. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Agree not to do your brother no harm. Amen. 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 Agree. It is like a precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard. Yeah. That went down to the skirts of his garments. Yeah. As the dew of Hermon. And as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. Uh -huh. For there the Lord commanded the blessing. My God. Even life forevermore. Amen. Amen. If you want God's blessing to be upon you, be thankful. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's what God commands the blessing. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's what? Liberty. Liberty. And we thank God for our sister being back with us on today. Amen. 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 Deacon Daniel's in here. We can take the offer. You got to stand. Thank you, Lord. You know, one thing my wife didn't do. And you know, I appreciate it. I appreciate it because she didn't have me good. You know what I said? She didn't have me good. But uh, when she was having the baby, and she would be at home, the other baby had to come to church with me. I tried to leave her home.